DJI have a real inconsistent problem with 360 images. I mean, don't get me wrong guys, it's absolutely amazing what this little drone can capture 360 images. But it's what I don't understand is this total inconsistency with the 360 images generated. None of the DJI apps which work with 360 images inject 360 metadata, so you can't upload it to an online platform of your choice. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. And DJI doesn't keep a consistent two to one equi-rectangular images between the apps and the software on the laptops and PCs. But we're gonna put all this aside and I'm gonna show you a workflow on how to stitch images together using the DJI Media Maker app and then we're going to use some free software to manipulate these images into a 2-1 image and finally we're going to inject some metadata so we can upload these images to Facebook online. Let's get straight into the video. So guys to start a 360 image should have three main components to be able to be shared online. Number one is it should be equirectangular which means it has an image ratio of two to one. This pretty much means that the width is double the height. Number two is that the image should have some 360 metadata injected so once you upload it online the platform knows it's a 360 image so it can put it into that kind of sphere. And finally number three is where it should have a pretty decent resolution so it's not going to look like it was shot on a potato. So I've got three images here. This one is directly from the DJ Mini 2 drone. This one is from the DJI Media Maker app which is some software we're going to be using to stitch the image and finally this is my complete image which I've edited which is going to be the one I upload online to Facebook. So we're going to have a look at these three images and see which of the three main components each one of them has. So this is the image straight from the DJI Mini 2 fly app. So looking at this our image size is 40 by 96 and 20 by 48 so unfortunately we're not going to get a point for resolution here. That's too low for our 360 image and that's about half resolution we can get if we stitch it together on the PC or laptop. Also we don't get a point here for the 360 metadata the DJI fly app does not inject it for some reason which makes it a real pain for uploading 360 images directly from the phone to the platform of your choice and finally with the image from the DJI mini 2 drone we do have a 2 to 1 aspect ratio so as we can see here 4096 is double 2048 so we get one out of three for the image from the DJI fly app which is pretty good considering it's just a proxy file. Image number two was generated using the DJI Media Maker app which we're going to have a look at shortly. As you can see with this image we've got a different resolution so we've got an, an image size of 9542 by 3420 pixels so here we've got a much higher resolution the width is actually more than double what the DJI fly app generated so we're onto a winner with resolution here but it's not a two to one image resolution so when i say with the image does that have a two to one aspect ratio you might think that well, that's still fine to upload but once you upload that image to facebook with the 360 metadata injected this is what you get because facebook thinks it is a two to one image you end up with a really warped horizon and everything looks almost inception style cool effect if that's what you're going for but it's not quite what the 360 image what people expect and the media maker also doesn't inject the 360 metadata so this image what the dji media maker app generates doesn't have a two to one ratio it does have a high resolution but it's not quite correct and it's not got the 360 metadata so we need to do quite a lot of work with this image to get it to a shareable standard which is where this next image comes in so this next image is the one i've edited together and this is the process i'm going to go through in this video so as you can see here we've got a image size of 9542 by 4771 so we've got a high resolution image we've got a two to one image aspect ratio and finally we've got 360 metadata injected so this image is what we're going to be uploading on facebook so let's have a quick look at the workflow how to generate a high resolution two to one image with 360 metadata already injected so i'm going to be using the image we've already seen this morning and this is the panorama folder which was captured on the micro sd card of the dji mini 2 drone so if you just go into the image folder you'll see a panorama folder and then each panorama will have its own folder and this is that so i've just dragged it onto my desktop and here are all the images which need stitching together into a nice sphere so this was actually captured at st peter's square in manchester during one of the lockdowns it was a super quiet day and it was actually really weird to see manchester like this but um it's a cool image to work with anyway so we're just going to go to the dji media maker website 
and you'll see what the updates was actually discontinued in 2016. So we are working with some quite old software here, but the only reason I'm using this software is it's free and it generates a really, really nice stitch automatically. For people who haven't done this before, it's super, super easy. You just drag and drop and it's done. Now this, with it being so old, might explain why it doesn't inject the 360 metadata, even though other software at the time was already doing that. So just download it for the operating system you're on. I've already got it down here. So this is what the DJI Media Maker looks like. It's very easy and very basic. All you need to do is drag the panorama folder into the software. It will say that it cannot detect the process mode, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna hit panorama and go down to 360 panorama. And then we're just gonna give it a suitable file location and name. So we'll call this suitable name, hit save and then hit start and then it's going to generate a nice 360 file for us and as you can see this process is fairly quick considering it's all automatic and we literally have to do nothing credit where credit is due dji have done a pretty good job with this software i do wish we'd update it so it would inject the 360 metadata and incorporate the blur because that would be a really quick process for generating these 360 images and getting them online so here we go, we've got our suitable name generated and as you can see we've got a nice high resolution. So let's have a look now at how to make it a 2 to 1 image. So we're going to use some free software online for this called PhotoP and if you've not heard of this before it's pretty much a free clone of Photoshop which works all online. So all we're going to do is drag that image we've just generated from the DJI Media Maker app into the window and then we're going to be greeted by this so let's just make it full screen so as you can see this looks very similar to photoshop if you've used it before which is great for us because it gives us a lot of tools to work with for free without even downloading any software i'd highly recommend giving photop a try if you haven't used it before so step number one we need to make this a two to one image so we're just going to go to image and canvas size and you'll be greeted by this canvas size screen now as you can see here we've got an image aspect ratio of 2.79 to 1 so we're almost at 2 to 1 but not quite there now just as a, a note going forward your width might not be 9542 the dji media maker app seems to generate a slightly different number every time so it's what you can do to make sure you've got a perfect 2 to 1 aspect ratio is copy this number here just by copy and paste and then paste it into here and then just put slash two and that's going to divide it by two and there we go we've got 4771 as i mentioned you might have a slightly different number but as you can see here we've got an aspect ratio of two to one which is ideal for our equi rectangular image for facebook and you don't have to do this but it makes the next step just slightly easier if you just press this bottom middle box for the anchor it just means that the image is going to move down and it's going to free up the space for us to do the next bit of the task so there we go all we need to do now is duplicate this layer so all we're going to do here is right click and duplicate layer and then we're gonna have two layers both looking exactly the same. The next step is we want to flip this layer vertically like this, so it's gonna go around like that. To flip this top image vertically, just make sure you've got this tool selected here, and then make sure transform controls are here. All we're gonna do then is we're gonna just slightly move this box ever so slightly up, not too much, and then that's just gonna give us this window here. And then is what we can do with the height, we can type in minus 100%. And that's going to flip the image vertically perfect and then what we do we're just going to move that up here like that and it should snap into place there we go next step we're just going to blur this so it blurs in quite nicely and we're going to go to filter blur and gaussian blur and we're just going to put a nice blur on here as you can see we are starting to look very similar to the dji fly app now i'm just going to move this down so we've not got a harsh line and the only problem with, with this image now is what we've got this horrible brown grey bit at the top. So to get rid of that I'm just going to stretch the image just a little bit more with this box and there we go we've got a nice almost let's just get a little bit further down there we go. You might need a little bit of tinkering and tweaking just to get it perfectly right and there we go guys we've got a nice 360 image with a nice blur which isn't too distracting it's two to one and it's also a really high resolution so we can zoom in to all these different places and still have a ton of different detail which is absolutely amazing considering this is a free piece of software only thing we have to do now is to export it from here and get it into the 360 metadata injector so we're just going to go to file and export as a jpeg this window will pop up eventually now don't worry it's a bit slow uh, it is free software though so we can't expect too much from it now down here it says a rough file size of what the file is going to be 
as you see 22.4 megabytes for the next step of this process the actual file limit is 20 megabytes so I'm just going to bring the file size down to about 95% just so we pop under 20 megabytes let's just see what that is that's gone down to about 10 megabytes so we'll go with this for now hit save and then that's going to appear down here and we're just going to go to this website which is my360propertyvirtualtours.com I'll put a link down below in the description and we're just going to drag this file into here it's going to upload the file it's going to be super super quick here we go come on and then we just download this file which is here now guys we've got a 360 image with a 2 to 1 ratio with a high resolution which has 360 metadata injected so the process itself isn't that difficult and you can zap through it fairly quickly so guys I'm on my Facebook now and I'm just going to upload the image and let's see if it's worked so here we are I'm just going to drag it onto here and here we go we've got our nice 360 logo at the bottom which is exactly what we want so I'm going to hit post so we've got a lovely 360 image which rotates all the way around it's not got any problems the resolution has been downgraded a little bit from Facebook, but there's not really much we can do about that. Um, but as you see, we've also got a really nice straight horizon going all the way around and it's not all warped like it was before. So that's pretty much the workflow for getting a 360 image from the DJI Mini 2, stitching it together with the DJI Media Maker app, making it into a 2-1 image with the Photop website, which is absolutely amazing. Definitely check that out. Finally using that website to inject the 360 metadata. So guys, I hope you learned something new from this video. Leave a comment down below if you did and if you're gonna be using this process and there will be more videos coming soon. I know there hasn't been that many recently. It's just because I've been quite busy at home and me and my partner are expecting a baby very shortly. So we're getting prepared and organized for that. But there will be more videos soon, guys. But guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers again.